our dear internet. Tis I, Gentleman Alex, welcome to the Dex. And you, fair maiden? Why, I am Lady Folka Kells, and you, internet, prepare yourselves for another episode of Trivia and Battle Strategy, this week featuring the most elegant and chivalrous swordsman in the Pokemon world, Gallade. Oh wait, you were just doing that because we're doing Gallade today? Yeah, what do you think I was doing? I don't know, I was just really into medieval times today. addition to Ross's evolutionary chain, which evolves from male Curlia using a Dawnstone and blossoms into an elegant swordsman. That's right! All any of his Pokedex entries ever talk about is how chivalrous he is and how good of a fighter he is. He's a shining knight of freedom! Uh-huh, and his face looks like a centurion's helmet. And instead of swords, his arms are blades that can extend up to twice their length. So cool! Yeah! Like Tanfa, the martial arts weapon that like ninjas and stuff use. Maybe that's why whenever you see him, he's acting like a bodyguard. He's too legit to quit being a bodyguard. Yeah, and apparently Glade sometimes even hide up in trees until they spy an injustice, and then they swoop down like Batman to protect the weak. All of this is awesome, but why is his name Glade? Simple, I'll show you in my new ridiculous segment. Lame Pokemon puns, poke, poke puns, pun come on. So, Glade, Glade, hmm, hmm, so what's the origin? I don't know, like an air freshener or something? Uh, uh, oh, I think I know, I think I know Oh, it. oh, you do? Oh, what uh, is it? Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Tell me, oh. So he's a knight, uh -huh, right? He's yeah. like a sword. Yeah, yeah. All right, so he's a, he's a gallant blade guy. Okay, okay. Gallant, yeah. blade. gallant blade. Glade. 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 But... Isn't he supposed to be a dancer? What? No, no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> no. Because aren't like Ralts, Curlia, and Gardevoir all kind of like dancers? Shouldn't Glade kind of like be a dancer a little? Kill it, what are you doing? Shut it down. Kells? Kells? Where did she- Alex! What? I'm pretending like I shut it down till the end of the bit. Move on to battle strategy and I'll be back like nothing ever happened. What? Why? That's crazy. Just I... do it. <sighs> now on to battle strategy. Gallade is a textbook user of the classic swords dance sweeper strategy. Basically, you use your first turn to set up a swords dance, which will give you a huge attack boost, and then from there, you just sweep, sweep, sweep. Yeah, there's no real surprises here. Gallade hits harder than almost anyone in the RU tier, so basically just stick with the strategy, use close combat and zen headbutt as your two main attacks, and you really can't go wrong. However, in that last slot, you're probably going to want Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak is a great dark type move for Gallade because even though it's not very powerful, it gives him priority over faster threats like Rotom and Sceptile. On top of that, you can boost all his attacks even more by letting Gallade switch in on dark type attacks so that his ability Justified takes over and boosts his attack one stage. Just another solid strategy. Of course, it's all for naught without making sure that your Gallade has an adamant nature and max EVs in attack and speed. And make sure he's holding a life orb too. That's a hold item that boosts your attack power by 30% at the cost of a little HP each time. And that's it, Gallade, Sir Knight. Of course, that's not the only way to train one, so as always, here are a few random thoughts. Gallade also has access to Leaf Blade and Night Slash. Both are extremely useful if you have a more specific strategy in mind. How about you? Destiny Bond is another option that Gallade has in his toolbox. It's always a risky move, but it can make for some pretty fun surprise comebacks. Huzzah! You can also take advantage of Gallade's relatively weak speed stat by using Trick Room, which allows the slower Pokemon to go first for five turns. Leroy Jenkins! Yeah. Leroy Jenkins? What are you, the internet surfer 2005? Leroy Jenkins is a great hero and example for all of us today. Kind of. Not really. Look, Gallade's great though. Go Gallade! Whatever, you're dumb and lame and weird and gross. But Gallade is pretty cool, and that's all we have to say about him for today. That's right, and if you'd like to add anything else or suggest a Pokemon for us to do next week, 
leave it in the comments below. Or check out our Facebook at facebook.com slash the national decks. Hey, and if you haven't already, subscribe. I'm Polka Kells. And I'm Gentleman Alex. Tune in next week for another groove-tastic episode of The, the Decks. Dex. Stop that corny. <laughs> Stop that corny. Stop that corny. Stop that corny. <laughs> the lady's pretty cool, and that's all we have to say about him for today. Ah! <laughs> Probably gonna watch Shadow Sneak. <laughs>